Yeah, so the plants that we used to interweave these floating wetlands were primarily willow species. We also used red osier dogwood, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how we fit those materials together. We started with a circle of either red osier dogwood or willow, some kind of flexible willow that you can make into a circle, and then a more rigid type of willow to go across the circle and weave pieces together until you have a tension plate. And it actually is really strong when you go under, over, over, under, you create tension and this thing will really hold together. Then you can take several of those circles that are already woven and join them together with additional pieces of pretty strong, kind of slightly rigid willow. And then once you have those all together, you create places for your plants. You can add birdhouse gourds for buoyancy. And of course you wanna do a float test um, to make sure that it's gonna be buoyant before you install your plants because you might need to make changes to your design. But we put our first one here in the water and it floated great, so we were ready to add the plants. We were adding different sedges, rushes, and bulrushes, kind of just putting them in between the willow, but also in these little baskets. Here's a closer look at putting one of those baskets into the woven willow structure and then setting some plants in there where they can be held at just the right water level. That worked really well, but it was a lot of labor. And so we ended up discovering you can use loofah gourds to hold the plants instead. So here's what that looks like. You hollow out the middle of the loofah, you slide your plant in there, and now you've got a nice rough surface that the willow can really grab onto and hold firmly into your structure. So the plants are much less likely to fall out. You're gonna wanna collect live willow because then the structure itself can also grow. Ideally, you collect it when it's dormant, but even if it's not dormant, I've still had really good results. So this was our first woven willow floating wetland and it worked really well. Um, the plants have grown a ton and it often has red-winged blackbirds on it and turtles basking in the sun. I'm going to go out there and check it out soon and I'll be able to give you an update, so be sure to follow for more.